Hey, what is up, you guys? It's Dustin, and I am back with another video. How are you doing, Nick? I am doing great. How are you? I'm pretty good. It's a little Super. rainy, cool outside. I can't Very get warm. Gloomy. It's just one of those days where I want to lay under a blanket and not do anything but watch true crime videos. Yeah. But obviously, I can't do that because I have to bring you guys the tea. I have to work yes. to make money to pay bills. So I wanted to come on here and talk about this compilation that I was tagged in on TikTok. And then mm -hmm. I want to talk about Jeffree Star a little bit. And then I want to talk about Keith Lee. And I'm actually blown away by what's going on with him, what this lady has done it's just Girl, crazy the fucking power that keith lee has mm -hmm. is like insane like it he can is. just mention something in a video and 20 minutes later like the line is out the door around the corner yeah it's crazy so if you guys have been following that drama i have all the tea here in one place but first let's talk about this compilation so i got tagged several times in this compilation over on tiktok it's this guy we've seen him do these things before where he like parodies and mimics people mm -hmm. like michaela jeffree star and all yeah. of that so i wanted to share that with you guys and kind of give like my own thoughts and feedback on this because i think it's funny as hell bro look at the wand <laughs> this is gonna go in my makeup bag hi sisters james charles here and welcome back to my youtube channel why does he sound like the james charles one was really good uh, get ready with me to go out in new york city what's up everybody hi how are ya are y'all really just awoken up the loch ness monster and you did it at my birthday dinner and i made excuses like dude oh my god <laughs> <laughs> the hair for Tati. I can confidently say that Tati is one of the biggest liars that I have ever met. Clearly, at this point, I am completely done with this woman and her stupid hair gummies. Bro, are you fucking seeing this? So like I say, blend, blend, blend. It's really pretty, but is it the best thing on the planet? Fuck no. Bro, look at this fucking highlighter. <laughs> <laughs> that does sound like Michaela. Hello, guys. It's me, Nikki. <laughs> Hi. Hello. <laughs> oh, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are ya? Hi, sisters, James Charles here, and today I'm going to be reviewing this very pretty Chanel highlighter. Good morning, motherfucking bitch. It's too good to be true. Are you fucking seeing this? It's Saturday night, and I'm going out tonight. <laughs> I mean, honey, where's the motherfucking glow? I can confidently say that this highlighter is an even bigger lie than Tati Westbrook. It's not really giving. It's very chalky. Don't say nothing to me, bitch. I want this to work. This is literally like baby powder. What the fuck? Fuck. Okay, so immediate reaction is it just shows how ridiculous influencer gasping and like the excitement that they try to put into their videos yeah, is when somebody parodies it. The James Charles one for me was very spot on. His voice, I had to very like good. listen a few times to make yes. sure he wasn't using like a dub over yeah. thing. Like he really has James Charles the, down. The and Michaela with the makeup bag. No, the hair for Tati. Like, oh. girl, <laughs> what, <laughs> what in the world was happening with that? I wonder if this is the same person that made those Gabby Hanna parodies a few years ago because they were know. funny as hell. Do you guys remember those? I don't remember the Gabby Hanna ones. Oh my God, hold mm. on. So thank you guys for tagging me in that. I think this is hilarious. If you you guys see anybody else doing They're parodies good. like this please tag me no the please. parodies are good some of them are very spot on <laughs> they the are Michaela, like overreaction the makeup was, like, bag everything. killed me yeah makeup bag yeah makeup bag <laughs> i'm sure it's pretty much like doing that to Michaela as well because she's sick and tired of hearing people bring that up like, <laughs> well she, she shouldn't have done that shit <laughs> She should not have done it. What was it where she was like, what the fuck video was it where she said something? She was like, Kim Kardashian. And she like stopped. Oh, that was when what she was, was renting. And that was when she was talking about people saying, make it nice and shop. Oh yeah, she's making it nice and <laughs> shop. But you guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this down below. I think he's hilarious. And if you don't follow him, you definitely should. I'll link him in the description box of this video. Okay, so now I guess we have to talk about Jeffree Star. And mm -hmm. I guess I have to tread lightly because all of my videos on him, I have been visited by Demone. If yeah. you guys know <laughs> what that means. I have yeah. every Jeffrey video lately, so I don't know who's doing that, if he's had a part in that, or if somebody else has had a part in that. It's a lot of stuff for, like, profanity. It, I don't know. Yeah. I don't really think we curse that much. I mean, I curse. I mean, maybe it's actually the clips of Jeffrey because he's just that foul. But you guys, check yeah. out what Jeffree Star had to say following all this stuff with Megan the Stallion and Nicki Minaj. He would not stop running his mouth. People can say whatever they want. It's unhinged, bitch, please. Well, that's how you act when people harass you over and over and over and over and over, girl. And that's deep history with, the, with them, y'all. There's things that we don't know that, that went on behind the scenes. Nicki Minaj didn't even charge her for the verse. Imagine that. Imagine helping jumpstart someone's career for free. I know that. <laughs> I know how that feels. 
And then you get shit on. It's the unmitigated gall, gumption, mm. cojones, anything you could think of for him to say <laughs> that Megan had to use Nikki to come up in her career. Yeah. Well, we all know what he did with Kat Von D. There would be mm. no Jeffree Star if there was no Kat Von D. Well, he tried to like throw shade at knowing what it's like to give somebody a career and they just turn out to be like an asshole to you and like kick you mm-hmm. to the fucking side. He was referring to Manny and Laura. Mm-hmm. Let's be completely honest. Probably maybe a little bit of James in there as well because you know that Jeffrey would take credit for that no matter well, what. Well, not to defend James in <laughs> any way, form, <laughs> fashion, or anything, not. but I do know that that idea that Jeffrey and Shane came up with with that whole conspiracy collection mm-hmm. was a stolen idea from James Charles, and I know people that have receipts to prove it. But Jeffrey Starr really is getting a little bit big for his britches, for him to try to call somebody else for how they got their brand and how they made their career and all that, because like I said before, if it wasn't for Kat Von D and mm-hmm. all that drama... Jeffree Star would not exist. I think think? they sold their soul to the same demon, (laughs) just like he and Nicki Minaj did. I'm telling you, they had a crossroads demon they met with, and they sold their soul. And that's why they're all bitter ass, nasty, horrible fucking people. I don't know, because you know, according to like, whoa, Vicky and all that, things happen over there in the Hollywood Hills with those influencers and the parties. I I believe in that type of stuff. Little soul sucker could have stopped on by the house. I believe in the Illuminati, Hmm. but I don't think that whoa, Vicky's the one out here to like She turned to Christ. Girl, yeah, they all do. Look what Brittany Dawn did. What did whoa, Vicky do? She got her ass beat on baddies. (laughs) <laughs> did you see that that poor girl she was no. just trying to preach the gospel and they beat her ass. i didn't see that well maybe they she deserved this shit girl i don't them. know but you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions down below about jeffree star i just think that he should put the shut to the up and not comment on things that don't involve him because at this point it just seems like he wants attention because he's not that girl anymore and the numbers are dwindling so he needs to capture the audience of other people that are actually rising to mm. Get their clout. All right, so now I guess we should talk about Keith Lee. Now, I've never talked about him before. He and himself, he is not Mm. problematic. I think he's a really nice guy. I think that what he does is amazing. He gives back to his community. He puts a lot of people on, right? Mm. Well, he was just recently in Dallas, and apparently there was this food truck that wanted him to come by, and he did. And what happened after that just... It's crazy. The live streams, the tweets, all that different shit. So Keith Lee ended up going to this food truck named Sweetly Mm. Seasoned. And he met this lady named Cheryl and her son. And Mm. there were some people there doing hair. And there was a lot of stuff going on. And he ended up giving a tip for $4,000. And he told Cheryl, the owner of Sweetly Seasoned, to give the hair braider $1,000 and give the person that was cutting hair $1,000, right? She decided that she was not going to do that. She wanted to keep it all. And he gave an additional $800 to Mm. cover food up to that amount so they could give out free food, right? She decided to keep that too. Oh, the free food. I, that's a lie. That's a lie. I gave, I I supposed to close at five o'clock, but Keith Lee came right before that. So I set out to nine o'clock giving out free food to everybody. That is a lie. That is a lie. <laughs> and closed up the shop. I, I just don't understand because what played out after this, there was live streams of Cheryl trying to defend <laughs> herself, saying that Keith Lee said things that he did not say. Yeah. And then her son was trying to go to bat for her as well, saying that he said things that he didn't say and they were trying to misconstrue what he said yeah. about do what you want with the money. That's not what he said. That is not what he said. And these people know that. <laughs> So Keith Lee did tell her to distribute the money how she felt necessary. He did say to the barber to give out free haircuts. Y'all really trying to, y'all really want chaos and confusion. That is the problem. Y'all want it so bad. Y'all can't even see the truth. But guess what? Keith Lee know the truth. Let's see what he got to say. Let's see, because y'all forcing him to have to make it, y'all forcing him to bring drama to his page, which is unfortunate as fuck, but I know he has to say something now. Let's see what he's going to say. Do he think that the barber who didn't cut hair for free should still get the thousand dollars for pulling up to cut my hair at the event because I couldn't leave? I didn't even know he was pulling up. Sherelle just called everybody who needed clout. Well, they were trying to say, like, the braider as well as the guy cutting hair were, like, not with her. Mm-hmm. So they didn't think that they had Girl, to give, the like, any of the $4,000 It to does them not all. matter if they were with you or not. He told it's you right what to, to do, do with his money. If you didn't yeah. want to do it that way, you could have said something right then, yeah. you know? But Keith Lee ended up going on to address this in a long video, about three minutes. To be honest, there's not much to talk about. But there are a few conflated and confused things that's going around about the situation. 
So let's talk about them. Three days ago, me and my family went to Sweet Lee Season food truck. Number one, nobody had any idea we was coming. They found out we was in Dallas like everybody else found out we was in Dallas because we was posting videos in Dallas. So in hopes of us coming, they had t-shirts made and they was on live all day. So me and my family wasn't in cahoots with none of this. We was all under the impression that they were a team and this was a normal routine for them. The barber being there, the braider being there, family being there, a lot of people being there. This is our first time here. We are customers. We have no idea what's going on behind the scenes. Number two, I was never under the impression that haircuts was free. Again, my family was watching the lives. We knew that he was cutting hair for $40. So when we walked up and I said, I want to get $1,000 to the barber to do free haircuts and $1,000 to the braider to braid hair, it was because in the original video, the son said it was slow due to marketing. That's marketing. God willingly, after we post a video, there will be a line out the door. If there's a line out the door and there's a barber and a braider doing hair while people are waiting, that's marketing. So again, it's in a hood. You play some music, you cutting hair, you braiding hair, y'all all sitting out, y'all having fun. It's a parking lot barbecue. So again, we don't know the behind the scenes if they knew each other, if they didn't know each other. And the reason why I didn't pay everybody individually, the interaction that you see looked longer than what it was. It was really only like a five minute interaction. Within that five minutes, 30 to 40 people pulled up. They was pulling up in droves. That parking lot was getting deep, fast. And for me and my family's safety in general, I don't ever carry cash around. And nine times out of 10, if we tip, we always do it through the POS system. And even if we wanted to do it a different way, Zelle and Apple Pay wasn't an option because it was four or five people at the same time on live. So for safety reasons, they wouldn't be able to say their phone numbers or their personal information out loud. And as far as them taking my phone and putting their number in on Zelle themselves, I wouldn't hand them my personal phone to nobody. So the POS system was the option that made the most sense. I've learned through this journey that sometimes it's deeper than the food, it's deeper than the marketing, it's deeper than the customer service. And this is one of those cases in my opinion. Sweetly Season got a lot to figure out and I thank God in advance that they do figure it out. The last thing I'm gonna touch on is the sun is misconstruing something that I said and I don't appreciate it. After I said out loud in detail what we deemed the money to be used towards, I also said y'all can divvy it out how y'all feel necessary. Meaning after the money hits because it's a POS system, it don't hit the same day. Y'all can send it out through Apple Pay, through Zelle, through Cash App, through Check, through Cash, however y'all feel necessary to spread it amongst the team. I thought and I still think that that's a very clear statement, but it's being misconstrued in my opinion, intentionally misconstrued that I said and the mom and the son can say who get the money and who don't get the money. <laughs> So Keith Lee did tell her to distribute the money how she felt necessary. I never said that. Regardless of what was going on behind the scenes, I felt on my heart to do what we did. So for the mom to go on the back end and disregard where my heart was at and what I felt like God was telling me to do in that moment and distribute the money how she felt necessary is 100% wrong in my opinion. I see the memes and I see the jokes, but I am not in the business of shutting businesses down. Her actions did not sit right with y'all and her customer base. That resulted in the situation that she in today. We just ate the food and left a tip. I pray in advance that everybody in this situation stays safe. That's my biggest concern. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. God bless you. Have an amazing day. I'll be safe. Just for me, the dishonesty alone, I would never mm -hmm. want to support somebody like this. And for her to throw away something so big as having him shout her oh, yeah. out and she give her... would have made that $2,000 back so fucking quick just mm -hmm. to give it to the people that she was supposed to give the fucking money to. This is all driven greed. by greed. Complete mm -hmm. greed. I did see that they had to like close up the food truck only to see like a few hours later that Cheryl was like selling food somewhere else on mm -hmm. the food truck. And she made a video saying like, come out because I'm trying to get in contact with the other people to come get mm -hmm. their money i'm giving them their money i'm doing the right thing hi everyone i am reaching out to you guys today because uh my son he already called uh or texted however he got in touch with sherelle and asked her if she can come pick up the money from what i hear she is refusing to get it so now i am asking and uh, i'm asking my followers to please tag her and act, tell her Sweetly Season is asking her to please come pick up their money. Okay? I am here um, for a slang in our daily road. Please. And also, if you guys want to come out and support, please, I am here. I'm not going anywhere. All right. Thank you. But you didn't want to do the right thing from the beginning. Girl, You want to yes. do the right thing because people are trying to close your business and all Imagine that. Imagine so throwing mm. something so mm. big away over $4,000. And mm. I get it. $4,000 is a, lot, a of lot of fucking money, right? But the money that she could have made yes. off of this shout out, the money that she could have made yes. out of the marketing, because that's what they started this under. They said that they needed Keith Lee to come out and support them because they can't afford marketing. And he did. They can't do all the marketing. So what better way than have somebody that has 15 million followers on TikTok that can literally make a 
or break a business. We've seen it with Las Vegas. We've seen it. Where was he at before? Was it Atlanta that he went to? Yeah, and he Atlanta. had a horrible experience. Oh. <laughs> Keith Lee can make or break a business. The Atlanta restaurants are fucking insane. I just can't imagine having this kind of opportunity and then just pissing it away because you're greedy. Mm -hmm. Greed will destroy you. Greed will ruin you. And that is what Cheryl has done. And she's done it on a platform of 15 million people. I mean, do you know what like a shout out from Keith Lee would probably be worth? A and lot. he came and he did that a and then gave her the $4,000 and $800 on top of that. He can, like, there's another uh, restaurant that he reviewed in Texas as well. I think it's in Dallas. And he completely, like, in the nicest way possible, trashed him and was like, this food is not for me. Like, this mm. food is not good. Like, it doesn't taste good. And that business, they had, like, 35 followers on TikTok, and he went to do that, too. This is going to be something that's going to follow this mm -hmm. lady and her son forever because people know who they are. And if they have a business and somebody finds out, because apparently Sweetly Seasoned is dumb for, but mm -hmm. they're saying that it's been opened up under a different name. I don't know. I haven't Oh, for sure. Into it. But if people find out if she doesn't <laughs> another business that she was the person that fucked over Keith Lee yeah. and took this money from him and didn't do what he said with it, they're never going to let her have a moment's rest. Mm -hmm. She's never going to. She did ruined. say that she's now open to the idea of giving the money to the people that it belongs to. But I'm Which not she here for done that. In the first place. I'm not. You know what? Yeah. If you want to give them the money, give them the other two thousand dollars, too. Mm -hmm. How about that? Or yeah. 500 extra each. Put your money where your mouth is, Cheryl. That. Because that's, it's just so crazy. Cause it's cringe, too. It's If you're just familiar, obviously she's familiar with Keith Lee's content and what it can do for restaurants. Mm -hmm. So the fact that she decided to keep the full 4000 right then, knowing good goddamn well that literally she could have stayed open that night, kept going through the next day and a few more days, would have made that 10 times fucking over probably in the food just because yeah. the lines alone are crazy. What's wild is she out. kept the 800 additional dollars no, that Lord. was meant for food. We just close this. <laughs> and apparently, after three people were served, she mm -hmm. was like, no no more free food. They had to pay for yeah. it. And the people there were arguing with her because they all knew that Keith Lee yeah. paid for them to get free food. It's just very it's shady. It's greedy. It's shame on it's Cheryl. Dishonest. It's very sad. And it's shame on the son, situation. too, for going online trying to make it seem like Keith said something yeah. that he did not. But if you guys made it this far in this video, leave me the makeup bag emoji. Every time I have to say that, it reminds me of how Michaela sounds so makeup weird bag. saying that makeup bag. <laughs> but also, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below about Jeffree Star and him continuing to chime in on this shit with Megan the Stallion where he literally has no place. And let me know what you think about Miss Cheryl from <laughs> Sweetly Seasoned with this whole Keith Lee drama because I think Insane. she's ruined. But with all that said, I hope you guys all have an amazing day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Bye, guys.